YouTube. Tom here, and I really hope you all enjoyed that little cold start and rev. Yeah, we're back to that time of year in Florida, though, where it is about 90 degrees all the time. 84 now, so it's still, we're getting kind of our spring, so to speak. But, got a little more Toyota-based content today for you all. So, as some of you all may have seen, Toyota has decided to tease and then promptly right after release the specs for the new updated TRD Pro line. And let's just talk about what we see with that. Now, first, there is in fact an updated Tacoma, which to me is the most important since it Tacoma has always felt like the flagship of the TRD Pro line. A slightly updated TRD Pro 4Runner, although not much seems to have changed with that, and the return of the TRD Pro Tundra. Although, it just doesn't look like a whole lot has changed with this. But, the biggest news of all is if you see the new Tacoma, it has a snorkel. Well, I shouldn't usually say snorkel because they're actually not calling it a snorkel. If I remember the term correctly, it's the desert intake, I think is what they're exactly what they're calling it. Either way, it doesn't sound like it's actually waterproof. It's actually more for if you're going on a dusty trail, it sticks up and avoids all of that dust. It's kind of like an ultra cold air intake. Everyone seems to love to have this debate on what a cold air intake means. This is Toyota's way of being like, this is cold air. It's coming from way up above the truck. Now, some people have already pointed out that, yes, it doesn't look like it's actually going to increase gas mileage at all. If anything, it's aerodynamically, it's going to hurt gas mileage. Well, the reality is, I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot because at the end of the day, people buying that truck are not worrying about gas mileage to start with. Toyota may have finally just taken an approach and said, who cares? It's a truck. It's meant for off-roading. That's not gas mileage is the least of your concerns. And two, sales volume-wise, the TRD Pro as is is already not a very big seller for Toyota. It's kind of like they they sell one every once in a great while. So, by the looks of it, they're not worried about do people like it because the people buying TRD Pros are gonna like it. Now, for one, I give Toyota an honest few minutes before. I shouldn't say Toyota. I give the community an honest few minutes before someone figures out how to waterproof it, make it an actual snorkel. So for the trails, and for two, I see that Toyota is probably going to either give another further update of the TRD Pro line later, or possibly even this might be the hint of like a mid-cycle refresh for the Tacoma, and possibly just a whole new Tacoma is coming in a few years. Now. I'm hoping that the Tacoma will in fact finally get some updates soon, some actual reasonable updates, because my 2013 has the iron block 2.7 liter 2TRFE four cylinder, and not a bad motor, but the fact is Toyota's still using it now, and this thing is kind of a, I shouldn't say it's horrible on gas, but I'm having now a, I have a four cylinder now with that has V8 gas mileage. So, dear Toyota, I think it's time to start considering an updated four-cylinder. V6 has been kind of iffy from the start, this new 3.5 liter V6, so Toyota hopefully will either fix that engine, get it where it needs to be, or they'll finally just come out with a whole new motor. And of course the diesel is an option, and I think if Toyota is going to continue to update the TRD Pro line, there needs to be a diesel TRD Pro to really compete with now Chevy with the Colorado ZR2 and the possibility of this twin turbo diesel Ranger Raptor even though we're not going to possibly get that it still sounds like Ford is going to plan something good for the US market now kind of a little off topic though but I do want to throw this in if, if the Ranger Raptor does come here I really hope we either do get the diesel version or possibly my other hopes are the twin turbo V6 from the F-150 Either the 2.7 or the 3.5 makes its way to the Ranger. But 
Toyota's got a lot of, of competition now. The TRD Pro used to kind of be the main one of that line, especially when it came out in 2015. It was the truck of its kind. Now you got a lot of stiff competition. So, I don't know, and the 4Runner still kind of seems like it's out on its own. Really, is anything else like it since the 4Runner is kind of the only body-on-frame SUV in that class left. Everything else has gone to unibody, so... It feels like a Jeep competitor every time I've ever looked at a 4Runner TRD Pro. Although I think it's it competing with the Jeep is the same way that Tacoma competes with Jeeps. It's not a 100% match, but... It is a pretty nice, nice competitor. The only other real problem I had with the the Forerunner TRD Pro is the only time I ever saw one, it was a woman driving it to the grocery store. It does kind of say like, well, that is the average Forerunner buyer. So, although there is the rumor of the possible possible return of the FJ Cruiser, so possibly this might be hinting at that. Like, hey, here's some updated TRD Pros. We're not going to go full into that. But when we come out with this new FJ, it'll get all of what we thought the TRD Pro lineup would have gotten. So that's what I'm hoping. Even, you know, the, the snorkel on the Tacoma, that might be like, hey, that hopefully that'll be an option on this new FJ. Slash FJ replacement, whatever they call it. And then, of course, is ever, the last and final one is the return of the TRD Pro Tundra. Now, it doesn't look like it gets anything different other than a hood scoop and... Everyone, and of course, everyone's mentioning the specs on the shocks, but it still sticks with Fox shocks. That that is one. I think that is the only real major change of any of them. Is they all TRD Pro line universally now gets Fox shocks, where before they got some Bill Steins or Bill Steen or Bill Stein. Hmm, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is it Bill Stein or Bill Steen? But they are supposed to now go to, go to all Fox shocks, which I guess that really is the big change. I don't know how much of a big difference that really is. Fox Shocks and Bill Steens are supposed to be like, you know, number one and two in the industry anyway. TRD Off Road Tacoma get Bill Steens. So I think it's worth I think it's worth watching. Now the T the TRD Pro Tundra is sort of like a little bit of a, a not a true off roader, but they are coming out with more trucks to kind of compete with that sort of class though because you have the Raptor that's sort of the main one that is a true off-road truck where it has been designed to do some extreme four-wheeling now of course it's eighty thousand dollars well sixty but realistically turns into seventy or eighty by the time dealer markups are done that's an expensive truck so Ram did the Rebel a few years ago and that was sort of the Ram almost equivalent of the Raptor, not a true off-road truck, and then there was the original Tacoma, or t not Tacoma, but Tundra TRD Pro, kind of competed more with the Ram Rebel, and now you've got Chevy doing the Trail Boss, so again, it was I think Toyota realized it was time to bring back the TRD Pro Tundra to compete with this new lineup of trucks coming out, so I think this is pretty exciting, because, you know, I'm, as you all know, I'm a believer that trucks make the ultimate daily driver now they are these are expensive trucks we're talking about the trd pro lineup so i see this new tacoma going up to at least 50 grand possibly because they were in the mid 40s i test drove one a while ago that was in the low 40s because it was the manual version so hopefully that snorkel doesn't add too much of a cost but we'll see I d the other thing I do see is people will start putting that particular snorkel on all other Tacoma trim levels just because it is a factory Toyota snorkel. Might not, again, not really true snorkel, but could be made, probably made into one. You could seal it up properly and make it one. The 4Runner, I see it staying where it is in the 40s. Poss it, I don't see it going over 50 because that kind of defeats the purpose of a 4Runner. Tundra, I see staying probably in the mid 50s. If it went up to the 60s, I would be in shock, because I just don't see that that kind of level of truck. But I, I could be wrong. It might go into the 60s. There are Tundras that you can get into the 60s, so... Anyway, let me know in the comments section below what you all think of this new Toyota TRD Pro line. Do you think this is exciting that they're finally giving some updates, or do you think this is kind of a little too little too late, and there's really nothing different from previous lineup? If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. 
you're stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. Help this channel get to a thousand subscribers. Take care. Have a good day.